All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to uh, transfer a call uh, that's going to come in. And uh, in this call, Melanie is going to be calling us and we're going to be able to do either a tended or a blind transfer to my extension. So when that call comes in, we will then be pressing this transfer button here. Hello, Mel. I'm now going to transfer you over to Ben. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to hit the transfer. I can do blind transfer or attended transfer. In this case, I'm going to do blind transfer to 4023 and blind transfer. Now at this point in time, Mel was immediately sent to Ben Clickard and you can see that Ben Clickard's phone is ringing and Mel is on the phone. So in this case, that phone call has now been sent to Ben and you don't have anything else to worry about. The other option is attended transfer. If I chose attended transfer, I would be able to hit the 4023 and then I would be able to say, hey, uh, so-and-so's on the line, would you like to talk to them? And then that gives you that option. So. Now, we're going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to accept the call. I'm going to then transfer this call. I'm going to hit 4023. Attended transfer. Now you can see that there's a transfer button up here. Now, in this case, no one's sitting at my desk. So if Ben answered the phone, I would be able to just say, um, okay, I'm going to send you that call and then hit the transfer. But in this case, no one's sitting at my desk. So I can't do that. And you can now see that Ben's phone is still ringing along with uh, Melanie is on the phone and that call is now being sent right um, to the voicemail. And uh, in that case, Melanie hung up the phone. So that is how to handle attended versus unattended calls. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to us by dialing zero or send us an email at helpdesk at indianatelephonenetwork.com. Thank you very much.